Hello, I'd like to show you two plugins from Industrial Revolution that are now available for Adobe Premiere Pro on the Mac. Volumetrics produces gorgeous rays, organic glows, glints and distorts. And Particle Metrics creates exciting particles from your graphics or video. Here are some examples that we're going to explore together. download both plugins from the Volumetrics or Particle Metrics web pages or the Noise Industries website. Both plugins use the FX Factory application for installation and management. There's no charge for the FX Factory download and both Volumetrics and Particle Metrics are available as free watermark trials for you to experiment with. When you're ready to purchase, this can also be done via the FX Factory application. As well as Premiere Pro and After Effects, both plugins also work with Motion, as well as Final Cut Pro 7 and 10. The best news is, one license covers all of these host applications. Once installed, you can find both plugins in the Industrial Revolution folder in your effects panel. Let's first take a look at Volumetrics, and where Volumetrics works really well is with graphics. Applying the volumetrics effect is just like applying any other effect, so making sure I've got the target clip selected in the timeline panel, I'm just going to double click the volumetrics effect. Using one of the built-in presets is always a good starting point, and there are over 60 built-in presets to choose from for working with both text or video. Looking through some of these presets, it's obvious we need to create some animation. The default animation time is set to progress which means we need to use keyframes. As with most effect settings, keyframes are set by toggling animation on and adjusting the progress value. You can also access the progress keyframes along with other keyframeable options using the clip keyframe menu in the timeline. If you don't like the idea of dealing with keyframes, there are also animation timings that can be set based on either the duration of a clip or a specified number of seconds. You can also choose a start time from the beginning of the clip for the animation to begin. Changing the style from show progressively to hide progressively quickly adjusts our animation from bringing the graphic in to taking it out. Show and hide momentarily can be used to add that little visual ripple to your graphics. and show always can be used to subtly draw attention to your graphics. Of course, applying multiple instances of volumetrics to the same clip will allow me to create multiple complex animations throughout a clip based on all of these different settings. Other controls in the style settings allow me to control the overall width, softness and angle of the effect, right the way through 360 degrees. Further settings for light rays, glow and even the distortion means that you have complete control over how your effect looks. Such as the direction of the light rays, so that they will always shine in the viewer's direction, no matter where your graphic is on screen. And once you're happy with what you've created, you can save it as your own customised preset. As with Volumetrics, Particle Metrics is found in the Industrial Revolution folder in your video effects. Again, let's select one of the text presets as a starting point, adjusting the animation time to duration of clip. Changing the wipe settings to reveal or hide allows me to quickly choose whether to bring my graphic in or take it out and I can adjust the wipe settings so as to best hide the transition of the graphic beneath the particles. We can specify the shape of the particle,
or even specify our own particles from any of the video tracks in our sequence. Let's change the start and end colours of our particles. Let's also decrease the end opacity to have them fade out. Finally, with a slight alteration to the velocity and gravity settings, I can have my particles moving along the z-axis and towards my viewer. Both volumetrics and particle metrics can be used to create transitions between video clips using the wipe effects. To use these transition effects, I'm going to place my outgoing clip on a higher video track than the incoming clip, and trim the clip to create an overlap. It's easiest to use the razor blade to separate this portion of the outgoing clip to be used in the transition. By quickly applying the desired wipe effects to this clip, the clip duration automatically becomes the duration of the transition. Looking at the settings closer, we see that we can set a custom duration by keyframing the transition progress control. The incoming track can be specified using the transition layer option, useful if the incoming clip is several tracks below the outgoing clip. And the rest of the now familiar settings can be used to refine your eye-catching, customised transitions, which can also be saved as a preset. Volumetrics and Particle Metrics, now available for Premiere Pro and After Effects on the Mac from Industrial Revolution. Download your free Watermark trial today.